Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your August 2018 reading. Now, generally my readings are love readings, so just keep that in mind. I don't I don't concentrate on work and money, but if it comes up, it comes up. Um, remember, if this feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You know, I just I just saw the Eight of Cups. That's emotional disappointment. Okay, it's emotional disappointment. Thinking about love, thinking about what to do, thinking about the next step. Here we have the Page of Cups just fell out. This is a message of love. Welcome, a welcome message of love, unexpected as well. You could be receiving some unexpected news. Um, this can also be Cupid trying to bring love into your life. Oh my gosh. So here we have the Two of Cups, Virgo. So the Cupid could certainly bring, be bringing you together with somebody. This is a love relationship. This is a love reading for sure. There's a partnership that does involve love, put it that way. But there's still some ego in the way. There's some sort of conflicts, mental conflicts, thoughts. Mental you know, undesirable thoughts. Somebody is thinking about walking away, or they have walked away. It's not worth it. Severing ties. Ooh. Accepting the truth. There's some sort of truth that has been re revealed. Reality. You have to walk away from something you have to accept the reality to have this love. The moon reversed is the truth being revealed. And you walking away from this person or this energy that is deceptive. This is deception. This is somebody who is very mean. Mean. Interesting. Ooh, so Virgo, there you are. Needing to sever ties. You need to sever ties. You need to accept the truth. You need to deal with the reality of this situation. Take a time out to go within, to reflect, to make a plan. You may be resentful. Okay, you may be resentful because of this partnership. Maybe you're wanting this newness, you're wanting this new love, but maybe you have to get a divorce because this is a divorce and this is severing ties. This is planning, making the plan. Here, this is resent and cold, detached bitterness because it's on your shoulders. Oh my goodness gracious. But you deserve some, so much more. This is not getting what you deserved. Being in a situation that is one-sided. You are in a one-sided situation. And it hurts. It's a one-sided partnership. And it appears that there's another offer waiting for you, Virgo. It's waiting for you. But it feels as though... You're being indecisive... not standing up for yourself you know by holding resentment because you're not standing up for yourself you're not you do you even realize that you have another opportunity waiting for you but you're staying in a situation where there's emotional loss and disappointment that's why that eight of cups came up there's that whatever situation you're staying in is there's there's no emotional fulfillment and and it's not what you deserve you deserve more There's a lot of mental conflict here because you have to sever ties and it 
And because you're not severing ties with whatever this is, it's causing you resent and hurt and inner anger on the inside. All the while, you want a soulmate. You're looking for a soulmate, and there's a message of love, or that you want, or you feel love for another person. It's like Cupid is trying to bring you together with your soulmate, but there's some sort of karmic situation that you are reluctant to move out of. Son of a gun. I thought this shit was over. We're just going to get this focused in. I had to put it on black because the, the other colors were bugging me. Um, the Five of Cups is, is disappointment. Okay, It's emotional love, disappoint, disappointment in a relationship. It's a breakup card. And once you break up and you go through this period of, of healing and introspection and solitude, there's the Two of Cups. That's when you receive the love that you deserve. But right now, you're not getting the love that you deserve because you're involved in a one-sided situation. Other people see that you're indecisive. Other people see that... You know, you don't want to deal with this, that you're ignoring it. They see that. They see that things are unbalanced within you. And they see dishonesty. Other people see dishonesty within a relationship. Your challenge is making a plan. Your challenge is going within and following through, coming up with it. Do it. Just do it. Accepting the truth. The moon reversed is... is Reality, reality check, accepting reality. Your challenge is, you know, even if it hurts, dealing with it. I see that you've been restraining yourself from accepting this. Restraining yourself from following your heart when it's causing bitterness. Lack of faith. Divorce is, you know, a problem here. This is divorce. This is divorce. Twice. Okay. Breakup. Lack of faith. Lack of believing in oneself. Unable to follow your own path. Not listening to your inner guide, Virgo. Why aren't you listening to your inner guide? Do you think that you don't know? Do you think that you have to follow a tradition? You're, that's a mask. That's, that's a mask. That's lies. That's deceit. That's betrayal. That's the ultimate lies. The ultimate betrayal. You are cheating yourself from a soulmate connection by staying in a situation that is causing you to be resentful and bitter and angry and upset and lonely. But I think that you're tempted. You're tempted. You're probably looking outside the relationship. Some of you. Tempted to cheat or cheating. Because you want that soulmate connection. Because there's a lack of passion in the commitment that you're in. There's no passion. There's no more growth. Therefore, this, this energy is coming in to tempt you because you're being you're being called to listen to your inner guide, your intuition, and you absolutely are not. There's an undeniable bond here with somebody else. And you need to be practical. And that's what you're trying to do, right? You're trying to be practical. You're trying to be responsible. Trying to do the right thing. But it's causing a lot of sleepless nights because you're not listening to your intuition. Trying to keep things stable. Trying to keep things secure. Sacrificing yourself needlessly with the hangman reverse. This is needless sacrifice. Stalling. But all you need to do is have faith. Take a leap of faith. Take a risk. And... and Follow your heart. Stop hanging on to something that has no more growth. It's caused so much worry. Did you know that stress kills? I'm sure you did.
you guys are involved in a dead end situation, feeling empty on the inside, emptiness. And now you have to make a complex decision. Do you choose to follow your heart or do you stay where there is monetary gain? Do you stay for the home, the assets, the yard, the dog, the whatever? Or do you follow your heart? What's it going to be? Because right now I see a lot of resent and bitterness an inner turmoil because you're in a situation that you don't want to be in and you've reached a point of almost breaking emptiness a lot of emptiness you're stalling you're sacrificing yourself needlessly because you have this fear fear of the unknown you're being naive And you don't love yourself enough. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's a lack of self-love with the Empress Reverse. I don't want to deal with the pain. You know, in the Taurus reading, I was explaining the Empress. She came up upright for the Taurus reading, thank God. You think about birth. This is a rebirth. The Empress is a rebirth, but you're not letting it happen because you don't want to deal with the pain what happens after birth or what happens during the birth there's pain there's pain but at the end there's a miracle your miracle is waiting for you but you are going to have to go through the pain You have to release something. You have to free yourself. That's freedom. That's personal freedom right there. You have to free yourself. You have to stop being naive. And you have to stop living in an unhappy situation. I believe there's a third party situation. Somebody wants out. But they're committed to a tradition. And staying into something that, you know, they don't want to hurt anybody else. They don't want to deal with the pain. They don't want to lose the assets. But they're feeling a whole lot of emptiness on the inside, which is causing bitter bitterness and resent. There's a new opportunity for love being given to you from Cupid. Or above in which you have to find the strength inside to accept the reality. Make a plan, follow through, do it. So that you can be free. It's time to take the next step. Gotta take a step. Take the next step. It's time for change. This is the card of change. Trust. Trust your inner guide. Trust your intuition. Trust the universe. Oh, there's that emperor again. It's time to be strong. It's time to be decisive. You could be dealing with an Aries. We have, doesn't matter what sign you're dealing with. But this is about strength. This is about wisdom. This is about taking control. Standing up for yourself. Somebody is in an unhappy relationship and they need to take back control of who they are. They need to act out of self-love and find their self-worth.
There's a soulmate connection here with somebody that is kind of like being thrown away. Because somebody is staying in a situation that's a dead end. Refusing to master their emotions and replace their fear with faith and head in the right direction. Refusing to allow this transformation. This is a transformation card. It is reversed to happen. Refusing. Therefore, stalling, sacrificing themselves needlessly and getting more resentful as the days go on. This is the end of a relationship. So that your new opportunity can come in. There's a golden opportunity waiting for you, Virgo. But you have to take steps. And I'm going to let all the cross watchers know that this reading is for Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. It's not for you to flip it. There's a golden opportunity waiting for you, Virgo. Something solid, stable, and long-term. You're, and you're manifesting it. Even if you're in a resentful, a resentful situation, it's what your heart wants. It's what deep down, deep down in your subconscious wants. And you've been manifesting it. Because this is what you want. Look what's mirroring that Ace of Pentacles. True love, soulmate connection. It's going to happen. Keep thinking about it. It's going to happen. What the hell are you waiting for? An earthquake? You have the ability to take control of this situation. You have to take control. You be the boss. You take the lead. Take the lead. You will be respected for it. But there's a lack of self-love once again. Unable to follow my intuition. But the star, this is faith. This is heaven sent. This is wish fulfillment being given to you from above. As soon as you step out of this victim mentality and take the lead. This is victim mentality, take the lead. Victim mentality stays in a place because they don't have strength. They don't have willpower. Lack. <laughs> this is lack of mental strength. The universe, the heavens, are offering you wish fulfillment. A golden opportunity. But you have to be honest and you have to speak your truth. And you have to take action. Instead of just sitting back and waiting and watching, you need to do something about it. Yes, it may bring some mild conflicts. But they'll go. They're, they will be mild. It's not going to be an earthquake. You have to free yourself. This is liberation. Free yourself from this situation that is that you are caught up in. That has caused so much mental despair. Free yourself. Free yourself. Free yourself. Okay. Every single one of these is reversed. Completion, completion, completion. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Freedom from a relationship. Freedom from these burdens. Freedom from this overwhelming heavy weight that you are carrying around. Freedom from these negative thoughts. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Liberation. Free complete this cycle so this opportunity for new love can blossom and grow and you can be with your soulmate.
It's going to hurt for a minute, but it's not going to hurt forever. So I feel as though, Virgo, there's an opportunity for love here with a soulmate connection. But you are in a situation right now, or you have been in a situation, whether you're still there or you're mentally holding on to it or whatever. You have to completely remove yourself from that situation so that this, this true love can, can blossom. It's a soulmate connection. There is a, you have a soulmate connection here with somebody that you are meant to be with. That the universe is throwing right in your face. It's right there. You know who this is. You do. But you're refusing to allow this transformation to happen because you're weak. The chariot reversed is weak. And I am not going to be that reader that coddles you. I am who I am and I ain't going to change it for anybody. It's time for you to stop pretending and accept reality. And find that strength. Because one of your life lessons is strength. And sooner or later you're going to find it. What are you waiting for? So for those of you that are single, there's an opportunity for a soulmate connection that, that the universe has brought to you because you have ended something that didn't serve you. Could be with an Aries, could be with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be with anybody. For those of you that are single, for those of you that are in a situation that is a dead end and you're really not liking it, you know... You need to find your strength. Oh, so didn't I tell you that you guys were doing this subconsciously? Absolutely. I knew it. You know it. You know who this person is. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Absolutely. Your soulmate is here waiting for you, Virgo. Allow yourself to let them in. Do you want to throw that away? Do you don't isn't that what you want? Isn't that what you deserve? Or do you deserve to be in a one-sided situation where there isn't there isn't love, there isn't equality. It's not fruitful. Is that what you deserve? Or do you deserve this? So my advice to you is follow your heart because I'm really sick. I want this reading to change. For those of you that have followed your heart and left a situation where there was no love, congratulations. Your love is here. Your love is coming real soon within the next two months. For those of you that have left a situation, your, your soulmate is coming within the next two months. For some of you that are no longer holding on mentally. Mentally. Okay, this is letting go of mental. The mental portion of it. This is letting go of the relationship, walking away from it physically. This is letting go of the burdens that are caused from it. You know, the heaviness, the responsibilities of it. This is letting go of the mental capacity. You know, the mental problems, whatever. The mental portion of it. When you have let go of the mental portion of it, your new soulmate, the one, the one that you, the long term one, the solid one, will come in. support offer your support to someone experience the joy of serving others allow yourself to be supported Mimi 
Sorry, my cat is on the table. <sighs> I have to blow the candles out because he's a furry. It's okay, Mimi. Anyway, offer your support to someone. Offer your support to yourself. That's what I get from this. Experience the joy of serving yourself. Please. Uh-oh. This is on the bottom. Action. Take action. The journey to find your lost self begins with one step. It makes sense. The journey to find your lost self begins with one step. Virgo, your soulmate is coming. Allow. But you have to take the steps, like I said. Whatever this is that you're hanging on to, that is a dead end, find the strength and the courage and the confidence and the willpower to master your emotions and take the lead. Because when you have proven to the universe, to the heavens, that you love yourself enough, they will bring you your soulmate. Talk to you later.